Hi, welcome back to Alpha Preppy. Uh, today, in this video, we're going to go through another fire lighting technique using the old trusty birch tree here. What we're going to be doing is using its bark to be able to uh, start a fire. Now, with a birch tree, they're quite the, to be honest, one of the most distinctive trees you're going to find because of the outer, the outer bark being like a, a white, silvery, grey kind of colour. And also, you'll find that the new shoots of a birch tree are usually quite a, a deep red or deep maroon kind of colour. Now these are the leaves to the birch bark tree. I mean at the minute it's um, October at the time and I see they start to yellow a little bit but as you can see they're more of an oval shape and if you can see the actual, this is quite this is quite a new shoot, as you can see it's quite a deep deep red. So this is what you're looking for when you point out a birch bark tree. Well, this is ideal what we're looking for. It's, uh, it's been a failed birch bark tree. Um, and there's no need to take the birch bark from a, from a living tree because the oil and the dead birch bark is just the same. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this back and then we're going to just peel the bark off. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to score this birch bark just with a knife, just with a basic knife. So it just comes off in a nice square pattern for us to scrape back. So we're going to scrape it there. We can scrape it at the bottom between the two points and this just peel off. You might have to use your knife just the back of your knife just to tease it off with just to get it started. There we go. Just nice and steady. As you see, that should be ample enough. I know we haven't got that bit off, but that should be ample enough to be able to take some scrapings off and if we start it with a fire steel. And what we'll do, we'll just take some of these extra bits off here, just like that. And then what we'll do, we will just peel them down. So when we get our flame going, we can add them on. And it should start it nice and keep the fire going nice and well. Okay, we're well back at camp now. And I've prepped my birch bark uh, just on a bed of uh, ferns so that it's got just a bit more stable and scrape on. So what are we gonna do? Take your knife, and with the knife, you're gonna scrape with the grain of the birch bark all the way along. And then once you've scraped it one way, you turn it back and scrape it the other way so you get a nice pile in the middle. Now, when you're scraping it back and you get little rolls of birch bark still attached to your section of bark, that's fine, that's not a problem. If anything's gonna age you starting your fire because not only will the dust catch and then the bigger scrapings or catch and so on and so forth so let's begin now when we're scraping back what we want to do is remove the white outer layer and you want to get down to the, the layer underneath the brownish yellow layer that you can see there and you just keep scraping and scraping until you're down and you've got plenty more the merrier when it comes to scraping this stuff back So what you do you want to maximize the amount of scrapings you can get because honestly if you just have a little pile it won't work turn it around again and use the opposite side now when you're doing it be careful when you're lifting up your birch bark because believe me it's quite easy to knock this off and all your hard work's gone down the pan so make sure you've got a good firm hold of the bark itself as you can see as I've just knocked that off there so these are the some of the pitfalls you're going to come across when you are doing it but with a bit of practice, you should be all right. So now this should be more than enough to get it going. There we have it. 
you know, you can see once it goes, it goes like a gun. And then you like say you just can just keep building it up, building it up. See, because the, the oil content in birch bark is absolutely amazing. As you see, just from a small spot of scrapings, you can have you can have a fire in next to no time. Hi guys, welcome back to Alpha Prepping. Now, to celebrate the start of the channel, we're going to have a giveaway. The, give the prize is going to be the fat wood that we processed down in the first video. And we've got four of them here. And what we've done, what? Well, you can't laugh. <laughs> it's a smoke. It's all sort of smoke machine. Put me off then. Come on, I'll be professional now. Sorry mate, you couldn't see it <laughs> at all. Doesn't matter, be professional, shouldn't laugh, you should tell me. Alright? <laughs> okay. Sorry, Sorry. It's, the, uh, it's completely blown the wrong way. You're completely obscured. Completely, that's a good thing. <laughs> right, sorry mate. Okay. Is it still too much? Yeah. Do you want me to um, move? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 